Hey guys, Mr. Light is back with Croc Legends of the Gollows! We're on World 3 Level 1, Lights Camel Action! So let's go get ourselves some Gobbos. Let's go get them away from these mad people. Or mad creatures as it were. Right, start with... That door there's locked. There's some gems for us. Go over here. Our first gobbo right at the beginning. Now, what we want to do is go to that door over there. There we go. That sorted him out. There we go. And jump back. Phew. Okay, into this room now. Firstly, you are in my way. Go this way and up here. I see a key. Very nice. We don't leave yet. We gotta go this way now. Got the red gem. And our second Gobbo. Right. Now we can go back. Now I'll teach you that mess with me. Now it's your turn. Sorted. Right, let's go this way. And now we have access to this room. So let us proceed. I got of there's traps. There's the key. We need to go get it. So let us go down here first. Go to the end of this. We... Pardon me. Got the green gem now. And there's the key. Now, we need to get back there to get that gobbo. Luckily, I know what I'm doing. Turn around and up we go. Then, thankfully, there's a balloon here to take us over there quickly. Thank you, balloon. Third gobble of tanks. Now, the next room is going to be nice because there's a secret in this room which I seriously want. See this jelly here? Stomp it three times. And then, after stomping it three times, you end up here. Where you get lives and gems. There's quite a few of them here, actually. This is very nice. Okay, there's another one. And here's the last one. So, yep, yeah, we got 20 flipping seven lives. Love it. And to get back up, we just have to go up here. That's how we basically get loads more lives. With these bonuses we come across. Okay. There we go. Right. What we want to do now is go this way. Just wait a mo. And we want to go on this switch. There we are, that's lovely. Those make the platform over there appear. So now we can get these boxes. Well, hey. 
So there's some gems. There's the yellow gem. And what do you think is in this other box? Yep, it's a gobbo. Who would have guessed? So now we go in here. Let's see, what have we got in this room? Well, aside from a giant elephant. Which you have to go on and ride. Okay, so then we go up here. And land on the switch. Which makes these platforms appear. So there's the last of the gems. Now we just need the fifth gobbo. Circle around. Up oh, and... Dump! Fifth gobbo obtained. Let's go this way. And go and get the secret. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest with you all. The desert levels are the most annoying of the bonuses. Basically it's a flipping chase. But the catch is if you go too far ahead... The ghosts will really catch up to you out of nowhere. Which is why you've got to take the advantage quickly. And I knew how to do this level. It's a shortcut. <laughs> Lovely. 58 gems and 27 lives. I'm not complaining at all. Second level, Mud Pit Mania. Let's go to this one then, shall we? Okay, what we got here? There's something up above, but we can't get to it. So to start with, we want to go this way. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, a uh, bit more I think. Right, then jump this way, jump this way. Now don't go in there, go behind it. Yep, the key is behind it, who would have guessed? Oh, speak. Right, that didn't work, but guess what, we kept the key. That's the best part of this. You keep the key if you die. That allows this to appear over there. We got the platform appearing. So now we can go this way. Garbo obtained. Right, now we can go on top of that. And I want to do a little bit of the game rid of him. Red gem obtained. There we go. And down we go now. Even though we haven't got any gems. And look at this area. It's completely dark. Oh dear. Let me just have a look around just see if there's any secrets at roots here. Huh. I think we go not that way. There are two routes we can take. Let me try going this way. I know one of these leads to a secret. Well, not a secret as in an important secret, just Part of the importance of completing the level, which was in fact this one. Yep, we got a gobbo from this area. So now we can go across the easy way. So we got ourselves a gobbo, and let's go this way now. 
jump this way. Lovely. Oh, spinny. There we go. Think we. That was way too close for comfort. Is there anything behind here? Yeah, there's some stuff here. Right, firstly, eliminate. Right, don't break these. Go on top of them first to get to this. Because if you go this way, you get an extra life to replace the one we lost. And you get the blue gem. Gobble and more gems. Now we want to continue on this way. Yeah, that there's annoying a whirlwind will appear and just throw you aside. It's really annoying. Right, I know one of these two pipes here leads to... This is what I was looking for. This is it. Nothing behind there. This is an area to get some other stuff we need to finish the level. So push this aside. I did not mean to do that. Right, first off. I actually think I want to break this to get out the way. Because otherwise it's going to be hard to go on top of the boxes again. Right, got some gems. So, we got a couple of things here we gotta do. The box here, we might as well. Really? Okay, that was my fault. Let me try that again. There we go. On top we go. And the green gem. We have two of those left again for another flipping chase. Oh, those chases are terrible. Okay, up we go. Got the silver key. Got more gems. And now what we gotta do is get that trapped gobbo. Hello? There you are. Okay. Gobbo, coming to save you. There we go. We now have four. We got one more to get as well as the bonus gobbo. Now where do I there we go. And now we all get past that tornado again. Ow, that was not Yeah, you see, it literally throws you aside. It's really annoying. It throws you into the pit. I lost all those gems because of that tornado. Right, we're in another area now. And we have this. Don't ask me how that electrical current is happening underwater. Hey, okay, got that. Okay, they got the purple one at this point. Yeah, that one confused me. I thought you get the purple one normally in the last room, but you got it here this time. There we go. And grab the key. I said grab it, Garbo. Right, we got the key, so now we can proceed into the next chamber, which should be the end of this area now. And there's a head shark there. I want to be wary of that, I think. Oh, great. There go my gems. Grab those quickly. They got them. 
Let's just get this box here. Now we can proceed. Got ourselves the fifth gobble. Now we're just missing one coloured gem. Okay, this section. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's a light here. Huh. That's awesome. So anyway, you gotta grab these fireflies to get across to see where you're flipping going. It's this part really irritates me sometimes. And I lost more gems. Oops. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh wow, I got lucky. So in we go. Now we gotta do another blooming chase. Whoa, turn around. Hey you, what do you think you're doing going ahead of me? Yeah, you see? Look at this. Suddenly. Just out of flipping nowhere. He suddenly skyrockets ahead of you. Oh dear. Yes, I got the key! Now we got the key. I got lucky there, even though that flipping guy skyrocketed me. We now want to go this way. And this way. Garbo obtained! So we've cleared this area now. We've got all the Garbos here. So I don't need to come back to this level. Thanks goodness for that! Oh, but we got some extra lives. So that's pretty nice, actually. Anyway, guys, that's all for this episode of Croc. Next time, level three, going underground in World Tree. See you guys then.